part two of my wood stove. So this is the actual wood stove itself. This is kind of exciting. I like the flow paths in this thing. If you have an Avalon Arbor also, please put it in the comments below. Share some pictures. Or if you have any questions or if you want me to take this part further, which I'll do in the future, let me know what you want to see and we'll do it. So this is the one flow path where air comes in. This is a constant amount of air. It's a slit in the back, it comes through this tube and comes in. This is the, the first flow path that I was talking about. This is the one that I was like, well, this makes sense. The second flow path is where it actually, when you open this dampener, it allows air in, but it didn't seem to be doing anything. And I couldn't find out where it went. Well, it actually goes in, it appears to go through tubes underneath here, or just a, a square area. And then it goes underneath here. It comes up to the top and it blows out right here, which keeps your door clean if you have good airflow, which I did notice my door was staying exceptionally clean and it's glass windows. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna clean that glass all the time. Pretty amazing. I didn't realize that's where the air was going. And additionally, somebody sealed up down here. You can see where the seal stuff came out. When I blew air into that, that bottom piece along here, along the base, I uh, blew out where they had it sealed. Now, I don't, I don't know if that seal is intentional. I don't know if that's from the factory or something somebody came back and did later. I don't know if I mentioned the piece that I broke. Back here, this piece is made out of uh, what you'd find inside fireworks, basically. I'm sure it's heat resistant and flame resistant and all that crap, but it's about as durable as wet toilet paper. So I tapped it with the uh, wet dry vac and this little piece broke off in here, which I'll give you a better picture of. Uh, well, so my flow path's not going to go down, up, through, and up, kind of like the diagram. It's going to go more up, out, and back up. I'm missing one of those flow paths, but here's what it is. I'm not paying $400 for that little piece. Maybe I'll engineer something later on. Maybe I'll just put a metal bracket in there that still makes that flow path, but it does not cost $400. I don't know. Even though I took all the screws out from the inside, to, to see the inside of this flow path. I'm just gonna stop here. Uh, it doesn't seem to wanna budge, it's sealed up. A lot of people don't feel good about that answer. What I feel good about is having heat in this garage this year. Maybe next year I'll take it apart to really look at it as I'm cleaning it. But for right now, I already broke one piece that I'm not gonna replace because it's $400. Uh, I'm gonna put this back together and heat this shop this year and worry about this later. wood stove back together. The main reason I was looking for those flow pads is it just didn't seem like it was burning right. But I think the main problem was I didn't have enough hot coals on the bottom. Because right now I got this vent pan shut and the bypass shut all the way and the flue's open but I could shut it right now and it does seem to have an effect. So it seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. I can just throw logs on there and just keep the heat going without doing anything else. So I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. But if you still want to see me take it apart, I'll take it apart next year. Just put the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. I'd also like to thank Ryan, this guy over here. He gave me the idea to tape everything up, blow compressed air into it, and see where that air is coming out. That gave me the indication of where my flow path was, and then it was just easy to trace out after there. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. All right, guys. See you next time.